Google has launched their new operation system, Fusia OS. Where they're going to use this new operation system? Is this the end of Chrome OS and Android? If you have the same question, let's dive right into this video and I'll try to answer some of them. As operation system, Google has Chrome OS, Android, Cast OS, and now Fusia. Android is operation system that we all know which is running on our Android devices. Chrome OS is an alternative to operation systems like Windows, Mac OS, and it runs on Chromebooks. If you want to know more about Chromebooks in 2021, let me know in the comment section and I'll make a video about it. Both Android and Chrome OS are based on Linux. They are developed and owned by Google. These operation systems are open source, which means everyone can use. This is why you see companies like Huawei, Samsung, and other companies that run Android. Those Android on those devices is different from the Pixel's devices. Those Pixel phones have the original Android version on the, on the device, which for example is different, for example, if you go for Samsung or Huawei. Those companies have the ability to some extent to develop skin that goes on top of that Android to differentiate themselves. Now Google has launched Fusion OS, the new operation system in the block that's not based on Linux. This operation system was developed from scratch and an update is beginning to roll out to owners of the first generation of Nest Hub. If everything goes as planned, owners of the Nest Hub will not notice any change on their devices. If you don't know, Nest Hub is a smart display like Amazon Echo Show or the GBL Link View. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can check these devices. Nest Hub is quite an affordable device and a quite useful digital assistant. The 70 inch touchscreen is responsive and works very well in combination with, as you would expect, Google Assistant. Unlike other smart displays, Nest Hub doesn't have a camera, which might be a negative for some people, but for private-minded people, they will appreciate its absence. You know, because it's Google and privacy. Without a camera, you might have more privacy. The current IoTs, which is Internet of Things devices, made by Google, run on Cast OS. And the entire UI is built on Flutter, which is a Google Cross platform development kit that runs on Android, iOS, Windows, macOS, Linux, and now Fusia. As you can see, Fusia was designed to be capable of powering both desktops and smartphones. Now, in this testing phase of the operation system, this is going to be run on smart displays, owned by Google in this case, Nest Hubs. Maybe Chrome OS in the future will be replaced, or Android. I don't know, but as you can see, this iOS has capability of running across these devices. I think the approach Google is taking to start testing their new OS is good. And if the feedback they receive was positive, maybe other cast OS based device will be updated to Fusia. Google is not saying anything about the future of Fusia OS, but let me know in the comment section what you think the future will be for the Fusion OS. Is this going to be the end of Chrome OS or Android? What do you think? As you can see, Fusion has the capability of running on desktops and smartphones. But let's not forget that Google recently updated Android to Android 12. So I have my doubts if Fusion will replace Android anytime soon. But let's see together what the future holds for Android. If that interests you, Let's start a discussion in the comment section and maybe Google here what we think about the future of Visual OS and Android. Well guys, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And if you like it, this video, give it a like and share it. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.